Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. From one play, set of players that you're very keen on mm. to an individual player that you're very keen on, Mr. Joe Gomez. I've been hearing, I've been hearing whispers, <laughs> mate. Let been, me tell you. I've been hearing whispers. Let that me you're tell a you, Joe Gomez fan. Boy. Actually, which camera's my camera? That one there. <laughs> Listen up, yeah. Listen up. Why? And I'm talking to all the the director of sport, <laughs> the the chairman of the clubs, whoever's in charge of the transfers at your club, why are you not in for Joe Gomez? As a Liverpool fan, I'm fine with that. I know, it, contract, you want him to just being time. time. No, oh. I just can't understand why there is not more interest in him as a player. Right. He is one of the best English fullbacks right now. Wow. He doesn't get enough game Full time. Back. Fullbacks? No, no, no. Centre back. Centre back. Centre back. Hybrid, centre-back. I suppose. You just play right yeah, right. He has played fullback, yeah. yeah. But um, he is one of the best, right, English centre backs, right? And he, I get it. He doesn't get enough game time. And I can understand why the England selection isn't there for him. But he is better than most of the centre backs on that team. Are sheet. you calling out Gareth Southgate? <laughs> Mate, I, I, I am not a fan of Gareth Southgate as it is. Really? That's a different conversation. Okay. We can get a different clip out of Gareth yeah. Southgate. <laughs> but let it be known, that will be closer to, to World Cup time. Yeah. Just know that it's very unfortunate we're going into World Cup. Where do you think Joe Gomez is comfortably capable of playing in? Any, any, any team in the world. In, any team in the world. <laughs> any team in the world. <laughs> no, not any. But seriously, top, he could play for a top is team. Is he better than Nathan Ake? Yes. You reckon he gets straight into the Man City team? Yes. Uh, uh, oh, wait, straight into the Man City well, team. Oh, but playing there at the moment. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think he doesn't. He doesn't. No, nah, if Laporte's not. Nah. Yeah, How can like? No, nah, he does. He doesn't walk into. No, he doesn't. He doesn't play for City. He's not playing. He's not. He's not. He doesn't start for Liverpool at the moment. Yeah, right? but, but he can't. Yeah. Either. So who, who are? Yeah, but and Matt obviously injury prone and. We've got Kanate as well. Like, it's tough to be a centre-back at Liverpool right now. Like, we have good, cent- really good centre-backs. Yeah. Um, is he fourth choice? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he, is, he is fourth choice. But which is, which is, again, the reason why I'm saying I can't believe that there aren't more clubs there. The thing is, he has just signed a new contract, which kind of did surprise me because I'd seriously think if I was him... I think you can go and play at a top side. Like we've Go seen Chelsea. it, they we've seen one, him right? in um, one of the recent seasons. He played alongside uh, Virgil for a, for a lot of the season, and they were an unbelievable yeah, pairing. Admittedly, it's pretty crazy when you look at our back line and particularly centre backs when they're not paired with Virgil Van Dijk. It's like they don't really know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Um, so if like we had, um, I think it was Kanate and. Joe Gomez. Right. I think they played recently and we got trounced 3 0 by Strasbourg. Right. But it's like, it, as soon as you p- pair a centre back with Virgil van Dijk, they just become world class. I, 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 <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm I, not fucking I joking. A, I'm an advocate of this uh, idea. Yeah. Of like, people seem to think that VVD is not one of the greatest centre backs of all time. Oh, yes. I, I don't hear it. My <clears throat> argument to present to you is. Yeah put anyone with Van Dyke and they do a job. Do you know how so, good that makes yeah, a player absolutely. to be able to make the person next to you better? Anyone are you saying? Because if you put Kieran Clark with <laughs> Van Dyke, I seriously <laughs> think you would be surprised. Yeah, honestly, he'd do a job. <laughs> he would do a job. No, but I, I genuinely think that he, like, Joe Gomez at Arsenal. Mm. Really? Oh, that's... Who, who, I think he's better than Ben White. Bellin Gabriel. But I mean I mean Saliba's probably looking at that position now. Right? I don't know. I th- I I really do think that Joe Gomez does a job at a, a top side. So well, let's discuss some of the players that are ahead of him in the England lineup. Yeah. Because And I'll tell you whether important. he yeah. yeah. So we've got Harry Maguire, number one, eighty. I th- I think it, I think he goes ahead of him. Really? So you have him at United. The the problem is with the with yeah, mate, you <laughs> no, take no, no, no. you fucking you, you United you. be on their fucking knees. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, he would never go though. You'd never transfer from Liverpool, right? To United, right, though, but right. I mean, yeah. It, what's weird when you talk about Harry Maguire and England is a very different conversation to Harry that's Maguire. That's true, but it also does annoy me because that was the issue that a lot of England fans complained about with um, with England was that they were just sticking with all reliable. 
Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. we would just go for the players that we know would do a good job mm. for England, but and it wasn't really based on form. But then Southgate has come out and said, no, I, like, I'm picking based off form. I mean, if you do that, then he's nowhere near the team. It's true. Right? And he has so, Joe Gomez, right? Yeah, what's that neither, neither has Joe Gomez yeah that's that's the problem is like without the game time mm. you, you, you there's no argument for him to be in that side right and that I completely get that but I genuinely think like as a player if he was getting the game time I think he makes the England side yeah mm. I mean some other names are Mings Stones Connor Cody I mean these are all these are all like pretty high profile. I think I think some Stones well. Stones is Stones is really good yeah I, li- I like so and I think yeah I mean, Tomori. what would you what would you say about like both of them like both of them as a starting? I uh, I think I think Tomori's got to be ahead of Gomez because like he's what well, I think he played like thirty games for AC Milan last yeah, season. Yeah, winning. Yeah, exactly. And going he had an amazing season. Going yeah. abroad to like Italy, where it's like renowned for like defenders and stuff. Like surely he's just like streets ahead. I'm not saying it as a as a player like if they both were playing, but I just think he's surely streets ahead of Joe Gomez right now to get like starting for England. Yeah, yeah, because of his game time. Mm. But is that not because he done the move and he like actually Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. I I I'm saying I think Joe Joe Gomez should make a move. Mm. I think like, like obviously not from a Liverpool for, but for I want him I want him at the club. Greatness. But I seriously think he's yeah. good enough Whereas he goes there, and then I think you start having him in a similar conversation to go, go to Italy. Just that's all I'll say, right? It's the, it's the these Chris fucking Moore leagues, <laughs> yeah, yeah, these fucking leagues over there, bro. Get yourself over there. You get in the Hall of Fame, bro. Italian Hall of Fame after two seasons. There's also White and Dyer ahead of him, but obviously you've already discussed Fuck how you feel about him. Not Dyer. Well, certainly uh, had a Dyer. I mean, maybe I just, I just like like a nimble centre back as well, though, yeah. like a quick centre back, yeah. and so that's why I like. Stones, pretty nimble. I mean, even Walker plays it. Yeah. Well, so m- maybe it's a bit of bias coming in there, but yeah. we're five to two to make the World Cup squad. But that could all change I don't, in I don't the next it's... few months. He needs Nobody to move. really knows the England squad anyway. But he's just signed down. a contract, hasn't yeah. he? He signed. But he's just signed a new contract. Can he not go on loan though, just to try and get in the World oh, Cup? I squad? don't think. I don't think they. I don't. Yeah. I mean, but if he wanted to make the World Cup squad, I think he would have made a, a proper mm. effort to leave. Yeah. This, this window I agree so, with you I think he is a baller but I just think surely from a mentality perspective like why unless you truly believe that you're better than like like the, the people in front of you yeah, yeah. like why would what, in his head why is he staying yeah I mean I look, I'm sure the pay is probably really nice <laughs> uh, True. I, I, I honestly I couldn't tell you I've seen a few people ask that question like wh- why why is Joe Gomez saying and yeah I don't, I don't know. I yeah. I, it must be honestly. Like if he is a competitor mm-hmm. and things like that, he must genuinely believe that he can get ahead of Matip and Konate. But we just signed Konate. Yeah, it's it, true. We wouldn't have signed him if we weren't gonna. You, could, you don't do replace yeah. Van Dijk. Do you? Yeah. So maybe he's um three players for one spot at that team. Yeah. Maybe he's like Klopp's got his nudes on his phone. He's just like he's like you're not going. You're anywhere. not going anywhere. <laughs> to be fair though, like what amazing depth to have. Yeah, true. At, in that position. I mean, because yeah, let's be honest, let's be honest, like flashbacks yeah. to to the horror season that we had only a couple of years ago. Yeah. It's like, well, yeah, I'm not surprised he wants to have four solid centre-backs mm. now. 